In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up your microphones in GarageBand so you can record multiple tracks at the same time. So the station that I'm at has two different microphones running into the Zeti 10FX soundboard. Now here's what I've checked before we get started. Making sure that the on button on the microphones is set up properly, that they are connected by a cable into the Zeti soundboard, that the soundboard is turned on, and that the soundboard is plugged into uh, the computer or into a USB adapter that plugs into the computer. Once that's set, we can move into GarageBand. So we're going to start a new project, selecting Choose. And we're going to bring in our microphone. Now here you can see right out of the gate that I have no input selected, and that's okay for this. I'm going to click Create, and that's going to bring my first audio track in. Now I'm going to bring in one more audio track because I have two microphones that I want to work with here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click on this Audio 1 track. I'm right-clicking, and I'm selecting Configure Track Header. Now I'm going to click Record Enable, and you'll have to do this on both tracks. Right-click, Configure Track Header, and Record Enable. So once Record Enable is there, we can start to work with two different tracks. Now down here at the bottom, you see my Controls screen. Controls let me set up the input, which is the microphone coming in for each microphone. So now I'm going to go and select number one for microphone one, and I'm going to select number two on audio two. I'm going to select number two for audio two. Now those relate to the place where it is plugged in on the soundboard. So if you had it plugged into one and three, you'd pick one and three. If you had more than two microphones, you could do up to four tracks at the same time. What this allows me to do is create audio recordings on different tracks. So microphone one will be here and microphone two will be on the audio two line. Now I need to turn on audio recording because you can see right now my audio two is working, but my audio one isn't picking anything up. So I have to click record enable on both tracks and now you can see that it's picking up both audio at the same time. Audio 1 is picking up microphone 1, audio 2 is picking up microphone 2. Now you'll see when I hit the record button and move over to record these that you'll get different audio based on which microphone that I'm speaking into. So let's hit record. Now I'm working on microphone 2 and I'm speaking into microphone two. Now I'm speaking into microphone one. So those two different speaking portions that I did there, you can see the audio is split out into different tracks. And that's the goal of this setup, to be able to split that audio so that as the sound engineer, I can come back and clean things up. For instance, this person looks like they're talking just a little bit quietly. So I'm going to turn up their volume so we can hear them a little bit better when we when we listen back. Now I'm working on microphone two and I'm speaking into microphone two. The other thing that we may want to do then is work with some of the different settings, such as the equalizer settings, because each speaker has different voice settings. So we might want to bring up somebody's tone here, depending on what we're working on. Now I'm going to work with microphone one and I'm going to bring the low down there. And we can completely change the way that they sound based upon that. Now I'm working on microphone two. Now I'm speaking into microphone one. We can even do fun things like adding sound or reverberation effects to different ones. Uh, let's do that. So now you can hear that audio one. Now I'm speaking into microphone one. Sounds like they're speaking into uh, a tin can. Now I'm working on microphone 
but that didn't impact audio too. And so that's the way that we can set up different recording for each line coming into the soundboard.